In this problem, we're told how large an expansion gap should be left between steel railroad rails if they reach a maximum temperature 35 degrees Celsius greater than where they were laid. Their original length is 10 meters. So basically what we're going to be solving for in this problem is the change in length because we need to know how much it, uh, it's going to change in the length because that's how large the expansion gap should be. So what we want to find is the change in length. So we'll just say equals question mark. And the way we're going to do that is by using this formula right here. So change in length is equal to the coefficient of expansion, right? Linear expansion in this case, multiplied by the initial length times the change in temperature. So basically, we know this is going to be made out of steel. And if you look in your textbook, they're going to give you the value of linear expansion, right? So the coefficient of linear expansion and it's basically just equal to 12 times 10 to the minus 6. So now we have that value. We know the initial length is just going to be 10 meters. They tell us that. And then the change in temperature, they tell us it's going to be or reach a maximum temperature 35 degrees Celsius greater than when they were laid. So the change is just going to be that 35 degrees Celsius. So delta T is just 35 degrees Celsius. And so now we have everything we need. We just got to plug it in. So change in length is equal to uh, 12 times 10 to the minus 6. You can write the units. I'm not going to, though. And then multiply it by the initial length, which is just going to be 10 meters and then multiply by the change in temperature, which is 35. So go ahead and plug this in. So you're going to do 12 times 10 to the minus 6 times 10 times 35. And so when you do this, you're going to get delta L equals 0 0.0042. Keep in mind the units. This is in degrees Celsius. This unit right here was inverse degrees Celsius. So these cancel, and then this is in meters. So your change in length is just meters. So basically, we know the expansion gap is just going to have to equal the change in length, which is 0 0.0042 meters. Uh, you can change the units if you want, but I'm just going to leave it in this. But yeah, so 0 0.0042 meters, that's going to be your answer to this problem. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.